Yo, what's up guys, so today we are gonna see, what if, Naruto had legendary bloodline and got harem with Kashina, Tsunade, May, part 2, hope you'll enjoy this video, so before we start, go check out the author of this fanfic, J3000, link is in the description, and also subscribe to my channel, and like this video. Let's begin the video. 5 days before the mission. Hokage-sama. Yuga said as she and Rina appeared in the room. What is it? Tsunade asked. It has started already. Rina said. Tsunade shouted who is present. The elders and the civilian councils are already there. And at the moment Inoichi and Shimza of the Shinobi Council and Naruto aren't there. Rina replied. Yuga informed Kashina and the rest of the members of the Shinobi Council that you can. She ordered. Rina find Naruto. Council meeting. What is the meaning of this? Tsunade growled as she walked over to her seat. It concerns the Kazuki H retrieval mission. Danzo said smoothly that while the mission was a success, one of our best shinobi died in a questionable manner. Questionable. Since when was it the council's job to cross-examine every single mission that Kanoha shinobi take? Tsunade asked. When one of our lead shinobis dies without a valid reason. Danzo retorted. It was a valid reason he attacked another shinobi Tsunade replied. So you say Danzo replied when Naruto arrived. Izumaki Naruto do you know why you have been called here Danzo said. Who are you again Naruto as he cleans out his fingernail with a salmon. Show respect for a councilman boy shouted a councilman. He say something Naruto replied as the man glared at him and about to shout again. Uzumaki Naruto you are here because it comes to our attention that you were the one that killed Kakashi. Tsunade said. Oh yes you are right I did kill him, Naruto replied which caused an uproar in the meeting. Execute him he admitted it. Then you killed him, you demon shouted councilman Yashi when suddenly his head fell to the ground and everybody turned around to see Kashina sheathing her katana. The law is still in place, Kashina replied as she and the rest of the shinobi council arrive. Oh shit councilman women. So you admitted that you are guilty Uzumaki Danzo said. I never said I was guilty I just said that I killed him Naruto replied. That's the same thing the councilman women shouted. No you fools Naruto replied which caused them to shout even louder. Shut up Tsunade shouted as they all become quite now explain yourself Uzumaki. Thank you Tsunade sama, I kill Kakashi because he attacks me during the mission in Tsuna when I was fighting a member of Red Dawn Naruto replied. But a lie. Takashi-sama would never attack you. I said shut up Tsunade shouted. Do you have any witness Uzumaki Sandanzo asked got you now. No I don't have any witness Naruto replied. Then why should we believe anything you have to say Danzo said. I have my memories of the events that I will let a Yamanaka go through it if you want Naruto replied. I'll agree to that only if I can choose the Yamanaka Danzo replied. Sure whatever Naruto replied. Kuku yes now I will see all your secret Danzo I choose Uub Yamanaka. I'll send for him right away Inoichi said. Five minutes later. We want you to look through Uzumaki San memory of his last mission, Uub San Danzo said. Hi Danzo Samu Uub replied as he walked over to Naruto. Are you ready for Uzumaki San? Yep, Naruto replied. Memory transfer no Uub said as he entered the Naruto mindscape. Three minutes later. I'm finished Uub replied. Now show us what happened Tsunade said. Hi Hokage Samu Uub replied movie no jutsu as his eyes lit up like a projector to show them what happened. On screen. The trident goes through Naruto's back, and Kakashi screams out in pain. Why did you attack me Kakashi-sensei? Naruto asked as he ran over to Kakashi. Don't touch me you demon Kakashi yelled as he pushed Naruto away. But you need help, Naruto replied with a worried look on his face. I said get away, Kakashi shouted as he attacked Naruto who dodged his attack. I should have killed you all those years ago. But you are my father's student. Why would you try to kill me? Naruto replied with tears in his eyes. You are the biggest mistake Minato ever made. Kakashi shouted as continued to beat the crap out of Naruto. Kakashi what did I ever do to you? Naruto replied with tears and snot all over his face. He stole what's supposed to be mine Kakashi shouted as he hit Naruto across his face. He was going to give her to me to have fun with. Who are you talking about? Naruto asked with blood pouring out of his mouth. That bitch Kashina Uzumaki Kakashi roared as Naruto attacked. But Kakashi dodged it and shoved the Chidori through Naruto's head. Only for it to appear through Kakashi's stomach. This is to call my mother a bitch, Naruto shouted as he cut Kakashi's head off his body. The end. Tsunade, Mikoto, Kashina, Yoshino, Hitomi, Rina and Yugao were all laughing on the inside because the civilian council was actually buying into the crap they were seeing because they would cheer every time Kakashi hit Naruto. Naruto you are an evil genius they though. I should have known Danzo. As you can see, it was self-defense, Naruto said with a smile on his face. Before we vote what was that jutsu you used Danzo asked. Though that a new I came up with, it allows me to create portals Naruto replied. I need to know more about that jutsu so I can counter it Danzo. How does Uzumaki Sen work? Chazu asked. Sorry clan secret Naruto replied, and the council was ready to scream at him, but Danzo stopped them. Uzumaki Sen, where is Kakashi's Sharingan? Danzo asked. 
Oh that thing I gave it to Tsunade Sam Naruto replied. Oh yes here it is, Tsunade said as she took the jar on the sleeve, with the Sharingan eye floating in it. Tsunade what are you going to do with it? Inoichi asked. I'll give it to the Ichiha leader, Tsunade replied. The Hokage Sam I don't want it because I don't think I can keep it safe, Mikoto replied. I will keep it safe for you Danzo said quickly, but Mikoto ignored him. Naruto Khan will you keep it safe for me Mikoto asked. Sure anything for you Mikchan Naruto replied. Hey you were saying something Danzo Sama. Mikoto asked as Danzo glared at her. Let the voting begin to find out Uzumaki san fate, and if he's found guilty, he will be banished Danzo smiled, all in favor that he's guilty. He paused long enough to see all the elders and civilians raise their hands, Inoichi Yamanaka and Chazu Akamichi, raising their slowly. All Danzo asked was, Mikoto, Yoshino, Hitomi, Kashina, Suma and Tenchi raising their hands against, as did Tsunade. It seems like the majority wins, you have 6 seconds to leave the country or you will be killed on sight, Danzo replied when Tsunade started to laugh. What is so funny? The councilman asked. The civilians actually think that you votes counted when it comes to shinobi business Tsunade replied. How dare you we have a right to vote at our village shouted another council. Yes when it's civilian affairs Tsunade replied. You bitch how dare you if it was the third our vote would have mattered, Councilman Saka shouted when Tsunade appeared before him. Then why don't you join him, Tsunade shouted. Saka shouted as he was sent flying by air Tsunade. Anybody else agree with him? Tsunade asked as everyone shook their heads. Now get out as they all rush out of the place. Let's vote again. Guilty Inoichi Yamanaka and Chazu Akamichi and the three elder raised their hands. Not guilty Mikoto, Yoshino, Hitomi, Kashina, Tsum and Tsunade raising their hands. Majority wins Naruto Uzumaki you are free to go Tsunade replied. Waiting may be free of those charge, but he will still be punished for shows that bogus memory Danzo said. Fine what is the punishment Naruto asked. You are banned from the Tenchi Bridge mission Danzo said with a smirk on his face. Fine, Naruto and Tsunade said together, shocking Danzo. Something is not right here Danzo. Meeting adjourned Tsunade said. Three day before the mission. You needed to see me about something, Hokage Sama. Asked the masked ninja. I need you to be the leader of Team Kakashi that will be renamed soon, Tsunade replied. A place the Kakashi Senpai. But for what reason, replied the masked ninja. Kakashi died during the mission to Tsunade Tsunade replied. How? Kakashi Senpai is the strongest shinobi I know of so who could have killed him? The masked man said as Tsunade rolled her eyes. Great a Kakashi fanboy, no wonder the council wanted him to replace Kakashi Tsunade sorry, but that is classified for now. Okay I'm in the masked man replied I'm just asked the council later. Then you won't need your mask since this is not an Anbu mission. Tsunade replied. The Anbu member took his mask off and placed it on the Hokage's desk. The codename for this mission will be Yamato Tsunade. Hi Hokage-sama. Yamato replied as Tsunade told him about the mission. Later. Sakura and Sai waited outside the Hokage's tower. They were to meet their new team leader. Their wait was over as a man stepped out from behind a large pillar and walked a couple of steps and stopped in front of the two shinobi. Who are you? Sakura asked. My name is Yamato, I am Kakashi's replacement and the leader for this mission to the bridge. Yamato replied. What happened to Kakashi-sensei? Sakura asked. Sai Kakashi got injured during the last mission, so he's in the hospital Yamato replied, but Sakura could tell that something was wrong by the sound of his words. So they are not telling us what happened as yet Sai. So what is the mission about? Sakura asked as Yamato told them. That means that we get to see Sasuke Kun Sakura replied. We could Yamato replied. Yes Sakura screeches. Quite down forehead girl voice said. What are you doing here? Inabuk Sakura replied as Ino walked up to her. I'm coming on this mission to convince Shikakan to come back, Ino replied as she hugged Sakura. Now that our final member is here, let's go, Yamato replied as they headed towards the gate. The next day. Are you ready for our date Hitchan? Naruto asked. Yes Naruto Kan, but where are we going? Hitomi replied. To hot spring country Naruto said as he created the portal as Hitomi and Naruto stepped through. Hitomi was relaxing in the springs waiting for Naruto to appear when Naruto hand touches her shoulder, she felt the knots in her muscles begin to unwind, as Naruto continued to massage her shoulders, and it was very relaxing to her at the moment she sighed a bit as she moved her neck, and managed to get the kinks out of her bones at the moment, and Naruto noted that and moved his actions too. Her neck and the feeling of tension was burning away from her body. As soon as Naruto was about to finish rubbing and massaging Hitomi's neck and shoulders, the Hyuga leader smiled and turned to Naruto and spoke. That was very nice of you Naruto Khan I feel a bit more relaxed now. No problem hit Chan. Two days later Tenchi Bridge. Yamato signaled the three to halt as he saw the bridge off into the distance. We are here, Yamato said. So what is Captain Yamato's plan? Ino asked. I'll hang out as Sasori and confront the spy and extract the information we need while you guys hide. Yamato replied as he entered Sasori and walked on the bridge, when the spy appeared with a cloak over his head hiding his face. 
It's been a while since Sori saw what the cloak man said. Adumato as the man removed his cloak. It's been five years Kabuto said. Isn't that the guy from the Chunin exam forehead girl? Ashok Ino asked. Yes, it's Kabuto. Ashok Sakura replied. Were you followed? Sasori asked. No, it's safe Kabuto replied. How are you? Sasori asked. Since you just lift I was feeling a little weak, but now I'm fine Kabuto replied. I have a number of questions, Sasori said to Kabuto. I don't have much time, Kabuto reminded him, so please make it short. I'm putting my life on the line by trying to come out here without Arachimaru's notice. I want information about the hideout, and then Shikamarinara and Sasuke Chiha. Kabuto looked hesitant to say, we have a number of hideouts, and we switch between them each week in order to evade detection. He answered some are of course located in countries outside of the sound. Rachimaru's spies have infiltrated them to help us set up bases. Still, our methods of travel take any number of forms and make things difficult. Currently we reside in a hideout on a small island in a lake to the north. We will change our location three days from now. Shikamarinara and Sasuke Chiha are also on that island. With the team few seconds earlier. Ino cupped his hands behind his ears, trying desperately to hear the conversation. It's so windy I can't hear anything. I have to use my technique to hear mind transfer no jutsu. Damn it into you could get caught Sakura replied as she caught Ino. Shikamaru and Sasuke are north of here on an island in a small lake, Ino replied with a smile on her face. What you motto? What the hell a shock Kabuto turns around when he heard the something in the bushes, it's only a rabbit. Kukuku Kabuto Kanarachimaru moans as he masturbates behind the trees nearby. What Kabuto? Now about that one task you asked of me, Sasori Kabuto said. Sasori stalled, not good I still need to get a few more things out of him, but if I continue this conversation any longer, I'll blow my cover. Even after his transmigration, Kabuto continued, Arachimaru cast a protective eye on the cellular specimen of the leftover corpse. I was unable to perform a data analysis on that specimen. I see Sasori replied for lack of a better response. Kabuto looked at him suspiciously. The team. Why don't we capture him now, we already know where Sasuke and Shikamaru Khan are. Ino asked. Because that's not our only mission, Sai said with a fake smile on his face. He right in beside Kabuto is on par with Kakashi Sensei Sakura said. How do you know that? Ino asked. I don't know, Sakura replied as Ino looked at her. With Yumato. On that note, please hand me the item I'm here for. I can't continue to stay here much longer. He held his hand out to receive the item. If it's found out that I'm meeting you here like this then I'll be killed. Kabuto said. Yamato knew he couldn't keep the charade up any longer, very well in a quick movement that caught Kabuto off guard, Yamato pulled out a kunai. However before Yamato could strike, Arachimaru appeared behind him. Mind if I crash your date? Arachimaru asked. With the team. Sakura and Ino gasped, Arachimaru. So that's him Sai said. With Kabuto and Yamato. Kabuto removed his cloak and joined Yamato. If it weren't for you drawing your kunai, Sasori, I may not have been able to get away in time. I suppose I've at least escaped detection for now even now that Arachimaru is here. What should I do? Yumato nodded. That cloak brings back only fun memories, right Saz Khan Arachimaru asked as he licks his lips. So you follow him here? Sasori asked, ignoring Arachimaru's question. Yes just to thank you for that love boy you sent me, he was a screamer Arachimaru replied. With the team. What should we do now? Sakura asked. We attack when we get the signal Ino replied. With Yumato. Yumato was at a standstill of his own. It was either fight or flight in this situation, if he fought he would reveal himself to them, if not. His train of thought was cut off when Kabuto suddenly attacked him, destroying his disguise. Suneta Jashirachimaru shouted as he used his snakes to hold Yamato still, but when one of the snakes went to bite him, it turned into a wood replacement. The real Yamato crouched before them, nursing his wounded arm. Is it the real Sasori? Kabuto asked. You were a spy don't tell me you never seen his face before Arachimaru replied. He always a gloomily fellow that always wear a cloak over his face Kabuto replied. How are you talking like you are still under Sasori's jutsu? Yumato asked. Arachimaru freed me of that jutsu the moment we met Kabuto replied. Then he brainwashed you with his Yumato fired back. I chose to follow Arachimaru on my own Kabuto replied. Kuku Kabuto I'll tell you about this boy later Arachimaru said as smirked menacingly, but first why don't you call those three little mice hiding in the brush? So he's seen through everything already he raised his hand and gave the signal to the others, and they immediately came to his defense. So it's you two again. Kabuto set a smirk on his face when he saw the two familiar faces, tell me where's Naruto Khan I thought he would have been here. Kukuku Sasuke Khan and Shikamaru girlfriends what a surprise Rachimaru said. If Sasuke Shikamaru back Sakura and Ino demanded. There is no giving them back girls. Kabuto replied, they came to us of their own free will, and it's about time you two got over it. Shut up four eyes Sasuke and Shikamaru would never leave us behind Ino shouted. Kuku if you want to know about Sasuke and Shikamaru, why don't you try forcing it out of me? If you can, that is Arachimaru said. 
Before anyone could stop them, Sakura and Ino punch at Orochimaru's face using their chakra enhanced punch. The devastating attack sent Orochimaru hurtling towards the forest trees, knocking over several from the brute force. Damn was the only thing Yamato could say. Orochimaru walked back across the bridge with his face cave in from Sakura, and Ino's last attack Kukukuyu girls were trained in Tsunade Jutsu, but she did not teach you. How did he know? Sakura and Ino. If Tsunade had thought you my head would be in the next country by now, Orochimaru replied as the grass cutter came out of his mouth as they attacked them. With Yamato. Damn Yamato shouted as he ran to intercept Orochimaru, but Kabuto cut him off with a punch that Yamato dodged. Kuku, I can't let you interfere with Orochimaru Sama Kabuto replied as he took out his weapon. Wood release morning wood. Yamato shouted as massive woods rose out of the ground, forcing Kabuto to jump to the left. Wood fist Yamato shouted as he hit Kabuto in the chest with it, then he saw Sai flying overhead of him. He was going to help the girls Yamato, but Sai did not land and he flew over them. With Orochimaru. Kuku you girls are lucky, if you two weren't Sasuke Khan and Shikamaru girlfriends, you would be dead now, Orochimaru replied, as the two girls lay on the ground unconscious. Wood Prasam was heard, but Orochimaru dodges it easily. Kuku I see you soon girls Orochimaru replied as he sinks into the ground. With Orochimaru. Orochimaru appeared out of the ground and declared her when Sai saw he and flew down. I'm a messenger from Lord Danzo Shimar. Sai said with a fake smile. Danzo what does that senile old fool want with me? Orochimaru asked. Before I tell you. Watch how to speak to me boy or you will be dead in an instant Orochimaru replied. That's how Danzo told me to speak, but if you are displeased then do what you must, Sai replied with another fake smile. PFF Orochimaru said as he walks away then he suddenly turns around and shoot a sword out of his mouth at Sai, he nearly shit his pants kids now they have no manners. The last time I felt like this was when Supernova attacked Sai as the sword passed his head. With Yamato. Damn I should have studied medical jutsu Yamato said as he kneeled over Ino and Sakura, when he thought of something and checked in the girls nin supplied, where he found a healing spray which he sprayed on them. What happened? Ino asked. Yeah my head is killing me Sakura said. But you are awake now you can heal yourself properly, Yamato replied as the girls began to heal themselves. So what happened after Orochimaru knocked us out Sakura asked. With Yamato's clone. From behind the trees a wood clone of Yamato had witnessed the betrayal. He had to report to Yamato right away and pursue. Kanoha. Uzumaki training ground. Kashina, taking the opportunity, kicked Naruto in the ribs, leading him to flip through the air and crash into the wall. Is that all you got Naruto? Show your mother all your strength. You asked for it, Mom Naruto replied while dusting himself off and smirking as they exchanged swords once more. For the next minute they both fought with everything they had, disappearing and reappearing when they could only to cause slight shockwaves whenever they struck with stronger blows. As Naruto and Kashina rained down on each other, blow after blow they would continuously try and find a way past each other's defenses, only to counter against each other further on. A second later Naruto made for a slash at Kashina's neck, causing her to go wide-eyed, before her instincts took over, allowing her to tilt her head back, as she then flipped backwards by kicking off Naruto, causing him to falter while she landed a good distance away. It seems you still can't beat me, Kashina said as Naruto vanished and appeared in front of her, as he delivered a punch to her stomach that sent her crashing into the trees. Damn that hurt Kashina with blood on her lips as Naruto appeared and held her sword to her neck. You lose, Naruto replied as the crowd started to clap as they walked over. While Kashina finally lost Makoto said. Yeah I thought she was going to shatter it Hitomi said. It seems like Naruto figure out the weakness of Kashina's sword Yoshino said. What is the weakness? Yuga asked. You have to touch her sword that the only way to break the hypnosis effect of her sword Makoto replied. Well that's all, it sound easy and said. Yeah it is if you are faster than Kashina Hitomi replied. She is the fastest female shinobi alive Kurinai replied. Wow, that was great. Naruto Kansunami shouted as she hugged Naruto followed by Hana. What took you so long? Mei asked. I want to have a little fun first Naruto replied. Naruto it seems like I have nothing to teach you, Kashina said as Shizun healed her. Okage sama wants you to meet her in her office, Uzumaki sent the Anbu set before he vanishes. I'll be back ladies Naruto replied as they all gave him a kiss before he left. Tsunade office. Catch Tsunade said as she threw a scroll at Naruto who caught it and read it. So that's your plan? Naruto asked. Yeah and the council can't punish you for going to the bridge Tsunade replied. I want Rina to come with me Naruto said. Then Tsunade replied. I'll go home and pack, Naruto replied. With the real Yamato. Where's Sai? Ino asked. Sai went with Orochimaru and Kabuto, Yamato explained to them. I'm not sure if he was threatened to go or not, but it really appeared that he was trying to gain favor with Orochimaru. He went up to Orochimaru and handed him something. I know Sai was always annoying, but he wouldn't sail us out Sakura replied. Sakura's right he must have something planned Ino said. I hope you are right, Yamato replied as they continued their way to the island. With Sai. 
he crept closer to the room where he sensed the chakra was coming from, careful to stay in the shadows all the way to the door, then he opened the door to see Sasuke sleeping. Enzo-sama said I should inject him with this virus if they decide to attack Kanoha's Sai as he enters the room, and about to take out the injection to inject Sasuke with the substance when he froze, and something wraps around his neck. What are you doing here Shikamaru said. PFF Sai replied when suddenly he heard chirping birds in front of his face. I believe my friend asked you a question Sasuke demanded. Orochimaru sent me to wake you guys Sai replied. For what? Shikamaru asked. A team from Kanoha is here Sai replied. Is Naruto on it? Shikamaru asked as he tightened the hold. No, he's not Sai replied. Who's on the team? Sasuke asked. You know, Sakura, myself and Yamato Sai replied as the two first names shocked him. Let go of our guests, Orochimaru said as he appeared. Later that day with Orochimaru. Orochimaru was peeking inside his student bathroom while they were taking a shower when Naruto appeared in front of him, a kick to the stomach sent him flying into the bathroom. What the hell Sasuke shouted when he heard the crash and quickly put on his clothes. Amu Orochimaru, how many times do I have to tell you not to peek at us, Shikamaru shouted as he put on his clothes. Amu Naruto Orochimaru replied as he got out of the wall I didn't even sense him. Naruto both Shikamaru and Sasuke shouted as they came out of the bathroom and saw Naruto leaning up against the wall. Sasuke you look gay as every Naruto said, then he turned to Shikamaru Shikamaru you look father, you even have those handsome scar on your face too I wonder who gave them to you, as he laughed Shikamaru who had two scars on the right side of his face, and three on the other side, he had dark hair tied up into a spiky ponytail, dark eyes as well as a goatee. Naruto Shikamaru and Sasuke shouted as they charged at Naruto at high speed, but Naruto blocked their kick, but was sent flying into the air because of the power of their kick, but Naruto landed on his feet. Suddenly Sasuke threw a punch at Naruto, he caught it effortlessly. Not bad Sasuke, but I'm better. Bringing his right leg up, he kicked Sasuke in the face, sending him sprawling back until he put his hands on the ground to flip himself up. Shikamaru shot forward at faster speed and threw a punch at Naruto, he dodged it and punched him in his face, but he retreated by sinking into the shadows. It seems like you guys have gotten stronger, Naruto said as he dodges the long tongue of Orochimaru. Kukuku -ku -ku, it seems like your girlfriends did have backup after all Orochimaru said. That was not true, Sakura and Ino shouted as they came out of the base. Naruto, what are you doing here? Ino shouted. Yeah my mother told me the council ban you from this mission Sakura shouted. Naruto-kun I knew we were the same, we don't like to follow orders Orochimaru replied, but Naruto didn't say anything. Why would they ban him from the mission Ino-chan? Shikamaru asked. I don't know my father didn't tell me Ino replied. It's because I killed Kakashi Naruto replied which shocked everybody. The lie, Kakashi sensei is in the hospital Sakura shouted. That's what they want you to think, Naruto replied as Sasuke glared at him as he activated his Manjaku Shuringen. Kukuku I knew we were like, now you came here to join me Orochimaru said. I am not here to join you, I am here to kill you. Naruto replies as he activates his Zenpangan as he vanishes and has Sasuke and Shikamaru search for him. Where the hell is Sasuke? Shikamaru asked. I don't see him, it's like he vanishes into thin air, Sasuke said then he saw Naruto appeared behind Orochimaru he behind you Orochimaru saw me too late. How did he get behind me with me sensing him again Orochimaru as he receives a kick to the face that sends him crashing into a part of his hideout. Suddenly Naruto heard chirping birds behind as Sasuke came at him, while Shikamaru came out of the ground with the kunai. Almighty Push Naruto said as Sasuke, Shikamaru, Ino and Sakura were sent flying away as a part of the hideout was destroyed. I hate the jutsu Sasuke said as he pushed the rubble of himself followed by the others. Kukuku your eyes have gotten even stronger, Orochimaru said when he saw Naruto eyes, it had the Rinnegan with the decagonal star for pupils 3 and 3 out with Byakugan veins showing. The idea came from but can you take on all 3 of us as Sasuke took out his trench knives, Shikamaru pulled out a katana, and Orochimaru pulled out his grass cutter. Sasuke and Shikamaru were the first to attack. Sasuke attacks with his bursting speed and Shikamaru sinks into the shadows. Sasuke appeared behind Naruto who pulled out the red death and blocked the trench knives with one hand. Team Sasuke said as he tried to overpower Naruto when Shikamaru appeared from out of the ground and attacked Naruto. Naruto pushes Sasuke away and blocks Shikamaru katana before a swift kick to Shikamaru's face sends him flying. Then Naruto receives a kick to his face from Sasuke, and as Naruto falls backward. Almighty Push Naruto said as both of them was sent flying. Sasuke, Shikamaru, Sakura and Ino shouted as they ran towards their respective boyfriend. Did you know Orochimaru shouted as he attacked Naruto when he received a kick to the face that sent him towards his student. Damn that feels good, are you alright Naruto-kun? Rina asked. I'm fine, Rina-chan Naruto replied as he got up. With Shikamaru and Sasuke. She looks like Sensei Shikamaru and Sasuke. Doesn't she look like Orochimaru Sasuke Kun Sakura said out loud. Cough, Rina-chan it's been a while, Orochimaru replied as he got up. Sensei who is she Sasuke asked. It seems like my dear old father didn't tell you about me Rina said. Father they all shouted. 
I thought he was gay, Sakura whispered in Inu's ears. I heard that and I'm not gay, Rachimeru replied. Then why were you peeking into your student's bathroom while they were taking a shower, Naruto replied. It's called protective surveillance, Rachimeru replies as he dodges attack from Rina and jumps away as she follows him. Shikamaru now Sasuke shouted when suddenly Naruto felt a shadow attract itself to Naruto. What the hell? Naruto said it seems like he can use his shadow to connect to mine through some sort of shadow world. Sasuke now Shikamaru shouted. Amaterasu Susuke shouted as the jet black flames of the Amaterasu came crashing down on Naruto, who started to scream out in pain. What the hell was that Sasuke Kan Sakura asked. That my dear Sakura-chan is the flames from the sun goddess Sasuke replied. Five minutes later. You can get rid of the games now. He died in the first five seconds when the jutsu hit him. Shikamaru said with a smirk on his face. Father I have avenged you. As the tower of black flames vanishes. Only to see a black tower that looks like stone. Then a crack and Naruto walk out. Wow that was close Naruto said. The team Sasuke shouted and about to use his attack against the Madarasas. The black flame came again as blood came out of Sasuke's left eye. Yukiyan and Naruto replied as the block like wall appeared and blocked the flames. What the hell my flame has stopped Sasuke shouted. What the hell is that? I have to find out what Shikamaru said as shadow hand appeared behind Naruto only for it to freeze. The froze a shock, Shikamaru shouted out. What do you mean? Sasuke asked. The thing protecting Naruto is made from ice Shikamaru which shocks Sasuke then Naruto starts to clap. I knew you would figure it out, you really do have your father's brain, Naruto replied as Shikamaru glared at him. No ice attack should be able to block my flames, Sasuke shouted. That's because this is no ordinary ice. This is black ice, it is an ice from Yuki and Naruto replied with a smirk on his face. This ice cannot be melt. Then we will break it, Sasuke let use our gods, Shikamaru said as he started absorb shadows from the surrounding trees and building Shiso, shadow of death, then he sinks into the shadow, and a giant grim reaper like figure appeared with a scythe. Susanoo Sasuke shouted as it began to form. Fine have it your way Susanoo Naruto as his god was form which is in full white, it looks like the white armor of Inferno. While such power you know shouted. Girls get out of here, Sasuke shouted as his Susanoo prepares to fire an arrow. It's going to get messy. The shadow set as it attacked Naruto who was able to dodge the attack and cut the shadow in two, only for the shadow to join back together and swing the scythe as it cut off his Susanoo's shoulder pad. What the hell, Naruto when an arrow went through his Susanoo's side then the reaper attacked again as Naruto's Susanoo rolled out of the way, only for another arrow to attack him again this time he blocked it. Should I still can't control the direction of the arrow Sasuke, as the fire Susanoo's arrow at Naruto was blocking and dodging them. Should it still too slow Shikamaru as Naruto dodges the side. Wow what a workout Naruto said as he repair his Susanoo, it looks like Sasuke Susanoo is a long range attack and easy to take care of, but Shikamaru Reaper is a challenging it reminds me of that Toby guy. I don't know how long I can keep this up Sasuke when he saw Naruto Susanoo putting his two swords together. Flare up Naruto said as his sword was covered in fire as he attacked Sasuke Susanoo, who was preparing to fire an arrow, but Naruto was in front of him ready to cut Sasuke in two, when the reaper attacks, but he jumps and dodged the attack, as cut Sasuke's Susanoo head off on his way down, then the feet as Sasuke and his Susanoo fell to the ground. Damn I hope he doesn't notice Shikamaru said as he appears and touches Sasuke's body, and both sink into the ground escaping the fire. I see how it works Naruto as he dodges the reaper and slices it with his sword, as the reaper caught on fire before it vanishes, and Shikamaru and Sasuke appeared in front of Naruto, who had dispelled his Susanoo. Damn I ran out of chakra Shikamaru. Time to destroy your chakra network, Naruto said as he took out Kachiki Kanwin. Wood release. Four pillar prison technique Yamato shouted when several large pillars appeared around Naruto, trapping him. I won't let you kill them like how you kill Kakashi Senpai. You fool, I was going to kill them, Naruto replied when Kabuto appeared with an injured Orochimaru who had a sword wound in his chest. It was nice to see Naruto Kun Kabuto again as he vanished with Sasuke and Shikamaru. You let them get away, Naruto shouted as Yamato just exploded as he rushed out of it, and grabbed Yamato by his throat, and slammed him into the ground hard as a crater was forming. Naruto then bit his lip as blood came out and about to drop on him when the blood drops on a sword. Why did you save him Rina-chan? Naruto asked as he got up and Rina removed the grass cutter and licked off the blood. Because I don't want you to deal with the council again, Rina replied as she licked her lips Yumi Rina replied. Fine, let us check out the base before we go home, Naruto said. Naruto and Rina was walking down the street on their way to the Hokage office, when they passed the Dango and saw Kurunai, Anko, Yuga and Hana. Hey girls Naruto said as he waved to them. Hey Naruto-kun they replied then they called him over. Dude now Kurunai Hana whispered in her ears. Naruto-kun I finally found you Kurunai said with a blush on her face. So what up Naruto asked. I was wondering if you would like to go out with me as Kurunai was about to finish when they heard a voice from outside. Naruto. You little bastard get out here. I know you're in there. A voice yelled. Kurunai took that time to face Palm. Who are you again? 
Naruto asked as the man glared at him. The team stay away from Kuranai she's mine Asuma shouted. No she didn't, not after you cheated on her Naruto replied as he walked up to Asuma who took a step back. She will always be mine no one else in the village want her, she a whore who gives it up on the first date, Asuma replied as tears came out of her eyes. It was true she had slept with him on the first date, but she had known him years before and now the entire village know you are a slut. That's because you started spreading rumors about her, Anko shouted as Yugao and Hana held her back when suddenly Naruto's hands were on Asuma's throat and slammed him into the ground. How dare spread those lies about Nai-chan, she is not a slut, and anybody in the village would be happy just to be with her, even me, Naruto shouted as Kuranai looked on. Oh Naruto kun Kuranai. You are going to pay for what you have done to her Naruto shouted as he lets go of Asuma and walk up to Kuranai who was wiping the tears from her eyes. Will you go out with me Nai-chan? Naruto asked. Are you sure I'm nothing special Kuranai replied. You are special to me, Naruto said as Kuranai hugged and kissed him. I love to Kuranai replied. The team you are not going to get her without a fight. She's my slut and I'm going to get her back right after I kick your ass. Asuma said. If I hear you ever talk about Kuranai or any other women like that I will kill you. Naruto replied. I'm not afraid of you I'm Hokage's son, I can do anything Asuma replied. That's what your father said before I killed him. Naruto replied in a low voice so that only Asuma could hear him. I'm really going to kill you, Asuma shouted as he attacked Naruto who dodged it. See you at training ground 10 if you have the balls Naruto replied as he vanishes. I got to cut him to shreds, Asuma said as he shined hand away. Tsunade's office. The job report Tsunade said to the Anbu. I'll be going then the Anbu replied as he vanishes in a puff of smoke. The Akatsuki is on the move for real this time Shizun said as she looks at Tsunade, it's only a matter of time before they visit Skanoha. Granted this is becoming quite the problem, but it also a chance for us to take care of them, Tsunade replied as she stood up, it's about time we stop messing around, now all we have to do is to wait until Naruto comes back. Okage Sama and Anbu shouted as he arrived. What is? Can't you see I'm busy Tsunade asked. It's important, Naruto-san and Asuma are fighting in training ground 10 the Anbu shouted. Shit I hope we get there before Naruto kills him Tsunade shouted as she and Shizun jumps through the window. Training ground 10. Damn it. Asuma exclaimed before leaping backwards, as he brought his trench knives in a crisscross slashing pattern in front of him to decapitate Naruto, but Naruto blocks the bearded Jounin attack with the red death, and pushes him and attack him, but Asuma back flipping and landing deftly on his feet, Asuma looked up and glared at Naruto who looks bored. Damn that bastard is tough to kill, but I'm just warming up Asuma when suddenly Naruto was in front of him, Asuma was sent flying into the trees. Is that all the monkey's son can do Naruto said. I kill you, Asuma shouted as he attacked Naruto with his knife, but Naruto blocked him on every move. I need to be faster Asuma as he vanishes and appears behind Naruto steps to the right and dodges his attack. Asuma screamed out in pain as a slash appeared across his chest. Give up you can't beat me young monkey Naruto said as Asuma glared at him. Asuma, my youthful friend, stop this. Kai shouted from outside the barrier. Sensei please give up I don't want you to die Chaoji shouted. No Kuranai Chan is mine and I will never give up, Asuma shouted as he put some black balls into his mouth, now feel my power. Nai Chan will never be yours Naruto replied. Kaden. Heisekishu fire release. Ash pile burning Asuma shouted a moment later a large cloud of ash was expelled from Asuma's mouth, which quickly enveloped Naruto, blinding him and causing him to choke. Now that he's blind I finish him off, and Kuranai will be mine with a flint placed within his teeth to create a spark, resulting in a violent explosion. Naruto kun Kuranai and Enko shouted. Don't worry about Naruto he's alright Yuga replied. As Asuma slowly approached the smoldering wreckage of the forest, he silently hoped that he had succeeded in killing the team. The bearded Jounin stopped when a gust of wind blew away the smoke, and he saw the blackened charred remains of a body still smoldering. So deep were the burns they had destroyed the skin. The damage was so extensive that one could not even identify who the person had been. Exhaling a sigh of relief, as he stared at the grim sickening visage of the charred face, still locked in a death scream Asuma silently thought to himself. I can't believe it, I actually killed Naruto, the killer of my father and my student father. I hope you were watching dad. Now I can go and collect my prize Asuma. However, before Asuma could savor his victory any longer, while he was lighting a cigarette he suddenly grunted in searing pain. Looking down with confusion his eyes suddenly grew white in shock and disbelief, when he saw Naruto's sword extending from the chest cavity. About to love BC, Naruto said with his sword impaling the bearded Jounin in his stomach. Asuma dropped shakily to his knees as his cigarette fell from his mouth and puff. The shadow clone Naruto replied. You are not the only one who can use clone Asuma said. If you say so, Naruto said as he attacked Asuma, he took a strange stance with his left hand making a half ram, and then extending his right hand down with his palm parallel to the ground. Then the spirit of the thousand armed cannon is summoned with then the spirit turns red, and transforms into a demonic looking creature it was about 7 foot tall. Welcoming approach. 
Thousand armed murder Suma shouted as cannon attacked Naruto with its 1000 spirit fists. The fists rain down on Naruto crushing his bones and skull. After the attack is finished, Asuma drops to his knees. That was a strong attack too bad. That was just another BC Naruto set from in front of Asuma. Then he lifted up his sword to strike Asuma down. With Tsunade. Tsunade arrives to see Naruto lifting up his sword. Naruto doesn't kill him. Tsunade shouted as Naruto brings down the sword. Asuma shouted as he fell to the ground. Naruto took the barrier down and walked up to Tsunade. I didn't kill him, Naruto said as he walked off. Where are you going? Tsunade asked. To your office, Naruto replied. Number number Hokage's office number number. Tsunade walked into her office with a very pissed off look on her face, as Shizune followed behind her. Damn it Naruto you know how much paperwork I have to do because of your mess Tsunade shouted as she sits on one of Naruto's legs, while Shizune sits on the other and Rina in the middle as Naruto hugged them. He deserves it, he's lucky I didn't kill after what he said about Night-chan, Naruto replied. So what did he say? Shizune asked as Naruto told them, which made all of them want to cut Asuma's throat with a sharp dango stick. Don't worry he'll get what's coming to him Tsunade said as she turns around and kisses him so what happened on the mission. The team Arachimaru escaped, but with a hole in his stomach and loss of his sword, Naruto said as Rina showed them her new sword. What about the other part of the mission? Shizune asked. We searched the Arachimaru hideout from top to bottom, and we found what we were looking for and other things before we destroyed it. So you can free Anko of her curse? Tsunade asked. We found some notes on it and should be able to do it, but we need somebody to test it out on Naruto replied. Rin is not going to like this. She got attached to the girl, she's been the one to take care of her after her sessions at T.I. Tsunade replied. Don't worry about it I'll talk to her Naruto replied as his stomach growled. Want to eat something? Tsunade asked, grabbing Naruto by his arm and resting her head on his shoulder. What about your tons of paperwork? Naruto asked. Screw the paperwork I do it later Tsunade replied as they all got off Naruto. Okay then let's Naruto see shrugging at Chiraku's Raymon here we go Naruto as they exit the room. Two days later. Naruto I'm ready Mei said as all stood in the living room giving their goodbyes. It was good to have you here Yuga said. Hope you had a good time Mikoto said. I learned a lot from you Tsunami said. Thank you guys for having me, I love every minute of it, Mei replied as she hugs everybody Kashina, thanks for letting me have Naruto last night, even though it was your turn. Don't worry about it, but next time put up a sound barrier, Kashina replied as a blush appeared on Mei's face. Let's go, Naruto said as a portal appeared I'll be back soon. Mizuki's office. My sama I finally found the contract that you have asked for Hinoka said as she hands over the contract. So Han-chan going on any hot dates tonight, Mai asked with a smirk on her face. No, why do you ask? Hinoka asked. It seems like he didn't ask her as yet Mai because a friend of mine wanted to go out with you. You mean the shy guy Chijuro Hinoka replied with a smile on her face. Yes said Mai replied. He said he wanted to ask me something later Hinoka said. Finally, I've been working on that boy confidence for months now my by the smile on your face, I can see that you like him. I do like him. Suddenly a portal appeared and Mei and Naruto came out of it. Naruto Kanmai shouted as she tackled him to the ground and started kissing him. I'm glad to see you too sister Mei said as she sees Mai dragging Naruto away. It's good to see you again, Hinoka san Mei said. Same to you Mizuki sama Hinoka replied. How many time do I have to tell you, you can call me Mei Mei replied. Four hours later. Naruto appeared back in the office with Mai in his hand, she had a big smile on her face. Ouch Naruto can't take your time I'm still sore, Mai replied as Mei started to laugh, and a blush appeared on Hinoka's face. Hinoka-chan you look very beautiful, Naruto said as Hinoka blushed even deeper got anybody special. No, I'm single Hinoka replied. Hey, what about Chijuro? Mai asked. Is that? Naruto asked. He's just a friend Hinoka replied. Oh so I can do this, Naruto replied as he walks up to her and kisses her on the lips, as Hinoka wraps her arms around his neck. I pick you up tomorrow for our date as a portal appeared. See you ladies tomorrow, Naruto said as he walked through the portal. Han-chan, what made you think you liked Shijuro? Mai asked. I do like him, but I'm in love with Naruto Kan Hinoka replied when Shijuro walks in. Hinoka-chan would you like to go out with me Shijuro screamed at Hinoka. Sorry Shijuro, but somebody asked me out already Hinoka replied. Oh hhi it's oka white Shijuro shuddered as he ran out. Damn you Naruto you were in several months of confidence training in one second Mai shouted. A month later. With Naruto Kanoha's prison. I'm here to examine the patient, Naruto said. The Anbu nodded and stepped aside and allowed Naruto to pass through without incident. Naruto opened the door and found the patient he was looking for. Currently, she is awake and sitting up on her recovery bed. He walked over to her as she turned to face him. You must be Tei, Naruto said to the red-haired Kanoichi. Tei replied, and what the hell do you want cocksucker? Wow Grainu was right you do have a foul mouth Naruto replied. I kill that bitch the next time I see her Tia shouted. Anyway, I would like to ask you a couple of questions. Naruto asked. 
How many times I have to say it to you damn people? Tai replied in exasperation, I can't recall a fucking thing before the mission to retrieve the Chiha. I have no memories of my past life. How many goddamn times must I be interrogated for it to sink in? I already know that Naruto replied as a tick mark appeared on her face. Then why are you here shit had Teoya shouted. I came here to check on your current condition and stability. I am a medic nin after all. Naruto replied. Though, Teoya said after calming down, I thought you were coming here to probe me like everyone else has so far. That will come later Naruto replied now take off your clothes as she took off her clothes. Wow you have a small chest Naruto said as he wrote on a pad. What was that? Teoya yelled angrily, you little fuck. I strongly recommend that you watch your tongue and your way of speaking with me, Naruto replied. What's it to you, Teaya barked. Nothing just don't like to hear women curse like that unless they are in my bed, Naruto said as Teoya blushes. Like I give a horse's ass what you think of me, Teaya remarked. That's not why you are here Rudokan and you are not a medic, Shizun said as Teaya froze. You cocksucking team Teaya shouted as she puts on her clothes, I going to skin you alive. Oh quiet down, Rin said as she arrived. And Naruto stopped messing with my Tei-chan. Sorry, Rin-san Tei replied as she quieted down. So that's the Naruto I have heard about. Sorry Rin-chan I was just playing around Naruto replied. Stop playing around you has a job to do Rin said. Fine Tei showed me the curse seal Naruto said as Tei showed him the curse seal. Tei's curse seal consists of three hooks, similar to a Chiskelion on the back of her neck. Naruto-kan we are here, Kashina said as Rina and Tsunade appeared behind her. Kashan helped me set up the seals, Naruto replied as they set up the seal. Tsuchan gives me the hand Naruto said as Tsunade gave him the hand. Evil releasing the thought as he revived Orochimaru, mixing a piece of flesh from the hand to create a body, as he ripped out consciousness of Orochimaru. Oh shit Orochimaru said as he came out. Hello Father Rina replied as she pushed the grass cutter through his chest. Orochimaru screams out in pain. Don't kill him as yet Naruto said as he his eyes mind walking jutsu. Two days later. Naruto was in the forest of death, the place looks like it was behind a squeeze like an orange to make orange juice. It seems like I need more practice. I still am not getting the result I'm looking for, Naruto replied as he sat on the ground to rest when he fell two figures behind him. We finally found you Naruto Kanhana said as Naruto turns around only to be tackled by them. It's good to see you girls too. I miss you, Naruto replied as he kissed both. Early now then show us Anika replied. Maybe later when I'm training Naruto replied, but the girls ignored him and started to drag him with them. We can't wait any longer, we want it now. They both shouted as they dragged him to the Ichiha compound, and took out two years of sexual frustration on him, which caused the girl to limp for a couple of days, and forced Naruto to wear a penis cast for a week. With Kumo Nin. Let's do this Kakuzu said. Hold on, before we do this, Hinden said as he took out a necklace and kisses it, I need to be sure and offer my prey to the god. God damn it, there you go again with your stupid god Kakuzu said. How dare you call Jash and Sama stupid Hinden shouted, but Kakuzu ignored him. Hey you two think you have cornered me right, Yujito said with a smirk on her face, well you are wrong, I lured you here as she did a hand sign, and activated the explosive tags which she placed over the tunnels behind them, sealing them in. They chided and said. You can call me whatever you want Akatsuki because you two won't be coming out here alive, Yujito replied. Oh no, it seems like the bitch traps us whatever we are going to do. Hayden asked with a smile on his face. Don't worry about it, it's for the best Kakuzu replied. You guys are very cocky, if you think you can be me, Yujito Nai of Kumo Yujito shouted as she got in a battle stance I'm going enjoy killing you. Kill us, don't make me laugh, the only thing you can do is spreading your legs, Hiding replied as he started to laugh, I'll be enjoying your body after we capture you, and so will Chashin. Shut up Hiding, you talk too much Kakuzu said. Don't tell me to shut up when you are thinking the same thing, but too bad because I don't share Hiding replied as he laughed, forget about capturing her, I'll just take her now. I thought I told you to shut up, our mission comes first, Kakuzu replied beside Conan would kill you if you rape our prize. I hate that bitch Hayden said. Then say it to her face next time Kakuzu replied. Hayden said when suddenly Yujito was in front of him with her claws out. You talk too much Yujito said as she cuts of Hayden's head five release mouse hair balls. she spits out a flaming ball of hair that assumes the shape of a mouse engulfed in flames, then continually splits into individual and similarly ablaze hairs, and attack Kakuzu, who was forced to jump away, only to receive a kick from Yujito, which sends him crashing into the wall. I knew you were all talking, Yujito said as she looked at Hayden's head. What do you think bitch the head shouted with shocked Yujito. What the hell, Yujito before she received a kick to the face that sent her skidding across the ground. Never expect a bitch to be that fast hiding as he put his head back on his body. Kukuku -ku -ku you can't kill a follower of Jashin. What the hell is this guy? I cut off his head and he put it back on Yujito. No more playing around as she transforms in her two tail mode. So she a perfect inch Kriki Kakuzu said. Matatabi let's cook it up a notch said Yujito. Don't lose Katensei the voice of the Nibi no in her head. 
Half on height and set as Yujido attacked but he blocks a paw strike with his weapon, only to receive the next paw that sends him crashing into the wall. Then she attacks Kakuzu jumps in the air to dodge it, only to receive the tail whip that sends him crashing beside hiding. Thy two tails firebomb at it hobby roared. A week late. Let's do it at Kashina ran into the room. Sunade chan wants you in her office now Naruto kun Kashina shouted oh hey you chan as she left. Damn it I have to go, Yuga chan Naruto said as he gave her a kiss before he got up and put on his clothes. Damn you are going to pay for this Yuga. In Sunade office. Naruto arrives in the office to see Anika, Hinata and Hana sitting down. You are finally here, your mission is to rescue Team Asuma, who was attacked by Akatsuki on their way back from the fire temple Tsunade replied. Who are the Akatsuki members? Naruto asked. Hayden and Kakuzu Tsunade replied. The zombie brothers, this going to be a challenge, Naruto said as he told them about the zombie brother. If that is true then how do we kill them? Hinata asked. Don't worry about that, I have a plan, Naruto replied as he told them. Then hi no kuni. Asuma. Ino shouted in tears as she ran for his sensei. She was running as fast as she could, but her legs felt as heavy as Chaoji followed after her eyes, while Asuma dropped to his knees. He coughed up blood while the medium-sized red circle around his form disappeared. Fall into despair for Jash and Sama. Haiden cried out while Kakuzu shook his head at his partner. They had made this little detour because of Asuma's bounty, and were just looking to claim his head. What a coincidence that they were able to meet up with said person. Haiden, you idiot. He was worth more alive, Kakuzu said. Ino and Chaoji grabbed him and shook him. Asuma, don't die. Not here. You have to go back. We both do. You have Kuranai over, please don't leave like Shikamaru did, Ino said before Asuma raised his hand. He lightly smiled and touched Ino's face. Don't cry Ino. Just promise me one thing. Please bring Shikamaru back, Asuma said with his last words and dropped down, lifeless. Ino clutched Asuma's body close to her own and cried out, while Chaoji grabbed both her and Asuma, as they disappeared from Kakuzu in Haiden's view. The latter chuckled and licked his tricep. Dash and Sama is not pleased until I have received my money so I go after them. Haiden laughed as he chased after them while Kakuzu shook his head again. He had such a weird teammate as he follows. Somewhere in the fire country. Where the hell is the back of Chaoji shouted as Ino continues to cry over the dead body of Asuma. Asuma sensei I'm sorry, if only I was stronger I could have helped you Ino shouted with tears in her eyes. No it's my fault Ino chan I froze up when I saw their power, Chaoji said as tears fell out of his eyes. I finally found you, you brats Haiden shouted as he landed. Give me my prize. Shit they found a Chaoji. Damn Haiden do you have to be so loud Kakuzu said. Yes because Jashin demands that I be loud Haiden replied. I can't defeat both, but I have to try Choji as he prepares to fight when a portal appears in front of them, and four people walk through. Jashin will be well pleased today because he gets to taste the blood of the supernova, the red hawk, the blue lion, and blue phoenix Haiden laughed, then he got a nosebleed, thinking of all the money he was going to make. Shit this is bad we have the nine tails to deal with, plus those girls Kakuzu. The zombie brothers, what an honor, I always wanted to fight you guys after I heard about your special powers Naruto said. Jashin Sama always wanted to taste your blood, Haiden replied as he licked his side. Who the hell is Jashin? Hana asked as she turned to Naruto. I think he's the god of sucking Naruto replied. The team I kill you for that Haiden shouted as he attacked Naruto. Wait Haiden Kakuzu shouted, but it was too late as a portal appeared before Haiden and sucks him in that fool he never listened. You take care of the seamstress. I'll deal with Jashin's bitch, Naruto replied as he created a portal and vanished. Yugakur. Haiden fell out of the portal on the outside of the village, when suddenly he was surrounded by a former shinobi. You dare show your face here shinobi one said. You team you going to pay for killing my sister shinobi two shouted. Come on I'll take you along, Jashin loves your blood, Haiden shouted when he got kicked in the face that sent him crashing into the trees. Man that guy loves to talk about his fiend god Naruto said. The supernova. What is he doing here? People of Yugakura I am here today to give you a gift, Naruto said as he pointed to Haiden, who was getting up a life-size statue, as everybody wondered when he meant. You will pay for this, Haiden shouted as he attacked Naruto who activates his impangan. This is about to get R-rated Naruto said as the villagers who came to watch covered their children's eyes. Naruto just dodged the slashes one by one, he would move to the left, move to the right, duck down, jump up, anything to avoid being caught by one of those blades, then Haiden receives a kick to his stomach that sends him skidding across the ground. Is that all the power your fake god offers you? No wonder you are the only member Naruto replied as the shinobi began to laugh. The team you are going to pay for mocking Jash and Sama Haiden shouted as swung the side that Naruto who ducked and jumped out of the way, as Haiden brought the scythe over his head, and slammed it down extremely fast, which caused a small crater. Is that all Jashin taught you? Naruto said as Haiden glared at him only for Naruto to vanish. Haiden was unable to dodge it and was hit with it full force. 
This sent him flying several feet away, but he quickly regained his composure and landed on his feet, only for Naruto to appear behind him, and grab his scythe away from him, and cut off his right hand, before he shoves it through Hayden's stomach. That was easy, Naruto replied as he walked away only for Hayden to pull the scythe out of his stomach, and cut Naruto in half with it who vanished in a puff of smoke. I can't I, Hayden shouted when Naruto grabbed onto his left hand, as Hayden struggled to break free from Naruto's grip. He began to curse, what the hell are you little brat? Get the fuck off of me. Fucking get off me. You talk too much, Naruto replied as a yellow sphere form in his hand over a Sengen. Well fuck. Was the last thing Hayden said before Naruto shoot the over a Sengen into Hayden's chest, as he caches into the trees. With the others. Earth block as a giant block of earth came and Hinata activates her by Akugan. The trigrams vacuum pomp Hinata shouted as her attack destroyed the block. Is that all you have? You freak out as the thing screeches at her. Earth Dragon Earth Mask shouted as a huge dragon came at Hinata. Rotation Hinata shouted as the dragon hit the sphere and was shredded here I go as she charges at the creature. Mass Earth Clone Earth Mask as the clones attack Hinata. The Trigram 64 Palms Hinata shouted as she destroyed the clones. Is that all you have? Earth Spike Earth Mask as Hinata jumps into the air to dodge the attack. Air Palm Hinata shouted as the attack sent the Earth Mask flying into the trees. The Roar Earth Mask screeches as it charges at Hinata when suddenly the wind blows. Did you hear the voice of the wind? Hinata set gentle step. The two shredders Hinata shouted, as the wind surrounded her two hands, and she thrust her palm two times at the earth mask who was shredded. With Annika. Wind release. Pressure damage wind mask as a tornado-like mass is compressed, until it has a very high density. Fire release. Intelligent hard work fire mass shouted as a small fireball erupts into a giant firestorm, as the two attacks combine together, which makes the fire grow bigger, then it explodes as it touches the ground where Annika was. Am I hot Annika shouted with her phoenix form with Manjiku Shuringen activated, then she attacked the wind mask breath of the phoenixes, a large flame thrower hit the wind mask burning it alive. Fire dragon bomb fire mask as Annika sucks in the dragon wow, I never knew eating dragon was this good. Fire bomb jutsu fire mask roared as the attack hit Annika, who was laughing the entire time. Man this thing is stupid, Annika said as she flies down at high speed, and bursts through the stomach of the mask phoenix roar as the attack turns the fire ashes. With Hannah. Hannah jumped back into the air lightning release. False darkness Kakuzu said as a lightning in the shape of a spear from his mouth. Was it a Hannah set as she gets in her destructive fist stance? A 4 year old could do a better jutsu than that when suddenly Kakuzu fired some threads at her. Hannah dashed forward and sliced the black using her chakra. 32 destructive palms Hannah shouted as she attacked Kakuzu who was able to dodge her attack and deliver a punch to her stomach that sent her into the air. Then he stretched his hands out and pulled her out of the air and slammed her into the ground as blood came out of her mouth. Damn that hurts Hannah said as she got up when Kakuzu attacked her Rotashonas, the spinning dome sent Kakuzu flying. Damn bitch Kakuzu said. Human boulder was hurt as huge spinning boulder came at Kakuzu who got up quickly, and uses his strength to stop the boulder, and gave Chaoji a punch to the stomach that sends him flying into the trees. That you fat bastard rate right and lightning dragon Kakuzu said blowing through hands seals, and slammed his hands together. Lightning could be heard sparkling around his hands, and suddenly a large white dragon with red eyes erupted from his hands. The dragon roared his way towards the downfall of Chaoji. Damn, I told the kid to stay out of the fight. Hannah shouted as appeared in front of Chaoji rotation tornadoes. She started to spin at high speed, as a huge tornado was formed to block the dragon. I'm really getting tired of you bitch Kakuzu shouted as he attacked Hannah, who manages to throw Chaoji out of the way and dodges Kakuzu attack. 64 destructive palms Hannah shouted as she dodged the last of Kakuzu's attack. 2 palms. 4 palms. 8 palms. 16 palms. 32 palms. 64 palms as they all explode on connect as Kakuzu was sent flying into the trees. With Naruto. Fuck what pain once. I'm killing this kid now, this is the second time now that he took away my side Hayden as he lay on the ground. For Jash and Naruto shouted as he attacked Hayden who got up quickly, but not without a slash on his chest. Then Naruto put the scythe towards his mouth, and pretended to ingest it. His skin turned black with white markings that made him look like a skeleton, then he drew the Jashin symbol on the ground in blood, and stood in the center. One live Jashin Naruto shouted as he pretended to stab himself before he broke out into laughter. He dare mock my Jashin Sama, Hayden shouted as he attacked Naruto at high speed, who let his guard down, and he received a fist to his jaw which sent him flying into the trees, as Hayden picked up his scythe. Damn what hit me Naruto asked as he got up when a scythe swung at him, Naruto was unable to dodge all of the scythe, and got a small cut across his cheek. Now you will pay for mocking Jashin Sama Hayden shouted with a smirk on his face, as he brought the blade that had Naruto's blood on it to his mouth, and licked some of it off. Should I have to stop him Naruto as he attacks Hayden? Hayden quickly slammed his scythe upon the ground, and drew a circle with a triangle within it upon the ground, and his skin turned black with white markings, that made him look like a skeleton. Curse technique. Death controlling possessed blood. 
Naruto's body became limp, he couldn't move, what the hell is going on? Why can't I move? Haydn smirked at Naruto's frustration, this is your end. This technique makes it where you can't move. And now you will feel the power of Jash and Sama cough cough as he coughs up blood. It seems like you really are the stupidest member in the Akatsuki, Naruto said with a smile on his face, as Haydn coughs up blood on the circle breaking the jutsu. Team cough, cough Haydn cough up blood again. It seems like you forgot about my Dakuchi Keke Genkai Naruto replied as he walked towards Haydn. Should I forgot it so what, this poison won't kill me. I know but it not what the poison is for Naruto replied as he got closer to the blood that you ingested was filled with my most deadliest poison, it paralyzes the person's body before destroy every organ in your body. That still won't kill me Haydn shouted. They said I wanted to kill you, I'm going to make you suffer. Naruto replied as he put Haydn in a yogi position who was screaming out in pain, as Naruto broke some of his bones to create the position. Check my Facebook page to see the yogi position. Dashi Haydn was cut off as black ice covered his entire body. Ikiyanez, goddess of winter's touch Naruto said as the entire village started to cheer. The monster is finally dead they shouted. God bless the supernova. I'm not dead you teen cough Haydn shouted which shocked everybody. I thought you killed him the leader shouted. No I didn't but don't worry he can never break out Naruto replied. How do we know that the leader said? Because my black ice is an ice that cannot melt, Naruto replied to the great Nova Dragon as it hid hiding, but the ice was still there. The leader said then the village started cheering again, and some of them started taking pictures with the frozen hiding who was cursing. With Hana. Surprise Hana said as he reappeared next to Kakuzu's Hana slammed her hand into Kakuzu's chest, as he was sent skidding across the ground. Ninja art mask kunai Hana shouted as the kunais came to Kakuzu who was able to slightly dodge the kunais, but ended up being stabbed by several of them in his right shoulder. Damn bitch, I going to kill you, Kakuzu shouted water bomb as the huge body of water came at Hana. Rotation Hana shouted as blocked the water. I hate Hayuga Kakuzu shouted as the water cleared, and Hana was not there where is that bitch. Right behind you 128 palms Hana shouted as she attacked him, but Kakuzu was able to dodge some of them. You may have dodged some of my attacks and save your life, but now you are paralyzed. Shit she's right Kakuzu as he stands up, and Hana walks towards him. Stop Hana let use the three beast formations Anika shouted in her phoenix form. Fine Hinata gets ready, Hana shouted as Hinata arrived. Hi, gentle step blue lion Hinata shouted as her entire body was covered in dark blue chakra and formed into a lion. Gentle step red hawk Hana shouted as her entire body was covered in dark red chakra and formed into a hawk. Flaming phoenix as the beast chakra attacks Kakuzu's head. Soaring hawk as the beast chakra attacks Kakuzu's body. Charging leon as the beast chakra attacks Kakuzu's legs. If only that bitch did not destroy my lightning heart Kakuzu as he screams out. Wow that got to hurt Naruto said. When did you get here a shocked Hanaka asked. When you stopped Hana Naruto replied. So how was your fight? Hinata asked. It was easy Naruto replied then he saw Anika rubbing her eyes. Anika has the eyes. It's just hurting, but I still can see through Anika replied. That's good, why don't you guys go and check on the dead guy? Naruto replied as they jumped away. Aren't you coming to Naruto-kun? Hinata asked. I find I need to check on something Naruto replied as he jumps away. But. I'll tell you about it later Hana replied. With Naruto. Nah, you're just overthinking things. It'll never happen. Amoy said. Samui looked dumbfolded while Carrie grew a blood vessel on her forehead. She picks up a rock and launches it at Amoy. That wasn't cool Samui said. You're the one who's overthinking things. Carrie screamed. Will you two shut up Derry said then he senses someone. Guys somebody is watching us. What are you Kumonins doing on Fire Country's land? A voice said as everybody looked around to see where the voice was coming from. Where the hell is Derry? Samui shouted when somebody appeared behind her and wrapped their hands around wow, I never seen the untouchable queen blush before shocked Amoy said. I never seen anybody touch her before without getting killed Carrie said. She's my girlfriend for a month now, and I have never been able to touch her dairy you team let go of my women supernova. In the carriage. Super Kun is here. She said with a blush on her face as she opened the door. Outside. Who are you? Naruto replied as Derry took out his sword and walked towards Naruto. I wouldn't do that if I was you or I ripped her up high off Naruto said as Derry stopped then Naruto whispered in her ears, don't worry I would never rip off these wonderful things as he started pinching her. Now need to do that super con they are with me a familiar voice. Oh Fuka-chan it is nice to see you again, Naruto replied as he continues to rub Samu Yupai. Could you please let go of my bodyguard? Fuka asked. Why does she have such a lovely Yupai? Naruto replied that he saw a tick mark on Fuka's forehead okay I'll let her go as he let go of Samu when suddenly Fuka hugged him. Oh god Supercon I need you now Fuka whispered into his ear when suddenly Naruto caught a hand covered in black lightning. The famous Derry of the black lightning Naruto replied before he snapped his wrist as Derry who screams out in pain. Derry, how dare you attack my friend, what if you had hit me, Fuka shouted as she glared at him, you will be suspended when we return to the village. 
that he molested my girlfriend. And beside you have no power over Madari replied as Samui and the others wrapped his broken wrist. I'm going to tell Asama that his wife is friends with the guy who cuts his arm off. Here and you think I'm afraid of him, I was the Fire Lord daughter. I can't believe F is the husband you told me about who can't get his cock to crow. Naruto shouted as he was on the floor laughing. Utimai he was knocked out by a blow to the head. When did he get behind a Samui? Naruto, you knocked out my bodyguard. Fuka shouted. So what he wasn't much of a bodyguard Naruto replied. And you can do better Fuka replied. Of course Naruto said. Then let's go, Fuka shouted as she ran up to Naruto and dragged him into the carriage. Inside the massive carriage. So what should I do now? Naruto asked. First put up a silent seal Fuka replied as Naruto put up the seal. Now what Naruto Naruto asked. Guard my body Fuka replied as she tackled Naruto to the ground. What about the rest of your bodyguard? Naruto asked them to separate their lips. The only one allowed in here is Sami, and she has something on her mind now Fuka replied as she captured his lips again. Outside a hour later. I'll check on Fuka Sama Sami said as she jumps off the top and opens the side door. Yes Naruto harder Fuka shouted. That is so cool Samui as she saw Naruto massive member entering a scream Fuka. Is someone there? Fuka asked as a blush appeared on Samui's face before she closed back the door. Hours later. Fuka Samu we have arrived, Samui said as she opened the carriage only to see Fuka alone, where is the supernova? As a blush appeared on her face. Oh hey Samui, he left a while ago Fuka replied as she tries to get up, but falls down. Fuka Samu are you alright? Samui asked. I find just a pain in my leg, it will go away soon, Fuka replied, I wish she didn't have to go. Then I'll be going Samui said. Wait, we need to talk Fuka replied. A month later. Orochimaru's hideout. In the small dark room where candle lights were hung all the walls to give a creepy glow to the room was a single bed across the door. Sad in the bed was Orochimaru looking like Shu thinking about how he got stabbed by his own sword. Damn that bitch if it wasn't for her I would have taken Sasuke's body by now, Rachimaru said as he looks at the bandage wrap around his stomach, I will kill you for this Rina, as he started to laugh before cough up blood, looking up as he heard something he saw a knife coated in lightning stab through the wall at an alarming rate. Rachimaru crossed his arms to stop the blade where it stabbed him in his forearm, forcing him back a bit, coughing up more blood. Kukuku Sasuke Khan I knew this day would come Rachimaru said as melt into mud. Then you will know that you can't defeat me, Sasuke replied as he took out his trench knives. Kukuku Sasuke you are 100 years too early to challenge me, even if I'm at my weakest, Orochimaru replied as his voice echoes throughout the room. Is that so Sasuke replied as he activates his Shuringen, then he vanishes and appears where Orochimaru was hiding and attacks him with the knives, but Orochimaru was able to dodge them before he gave Sasuke a kick that sends him crashing into the wall. Kukuku Sasuke you still have much to learn, Orochimaru said as he walked over to Sasuke who was getting up. Was it it? Sasuke replied as he poofed away. A shadow Orochimaru coughs up blood as Sasuke pushes his lightning-coated trench knives through Orochimaru's stomach. You're no match for an Uchiha Sasuke replied. Kukuku it seems like you fell for it, now your body is mine, Orochimaru said, as Sasuke felt some pain and keeled over slightly just in time for Orochimaru's head to come up. It's starting to kick and I see. What did you do to me? Sasuke shouted suddenly a seal appeared on the ground beneath him. Kuku now I'll take you Sasuke's shuring and looked in Orochimaru's slit eyes when everything then turned dark and hazy. Looking around Sasuke saw he was in an area of pitch black. What is this place? The form started bubbling next to him taking shape. This is a separate dimension inside of me, it's where we'll hold the ritual for transmigration. The form started showing Rachimaru's left side of his face let's start. Snakes started tangling around Sasuke as faces were revealed around some showing women, others showing men, previous containers. Sasuke looked at Orochimaru dead in the eye while Orochimaru screamed. Kuku those eyes will finally be mine. Lunging forward for Sasuke. Fire Lord Castle. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today, in the sight of God and this company, to witness and celebrate one of life's greatest moments, to give recognition to the worth and beauty of love, and to add our best wishes and blessings to the union of Uzumaki Kashina, Kurumu, Ichiha Mikoto, Naruyoshino, Hayuga Hatomi, Turumi Mei, Senju Tsunade, Nahara Rin. Shizun and Tsunami and Uzumaki Naruto Fire Lord said as all the women held each other hands. Uzumaki Kashina, Kurumu, Ichiha Mikoto, Naruyoshino, Hayuga Hatomi, Turumi Mei, Senju Tsunade, Nahara Rin, Shizu and Tsunami and Uzumaki Naruto marriage, is an institution ordained of God, and it is not to be entered into lightly or unadvisedly, but reverently, deliberately, and only after much consideration, for in coming together in marriage, you are committing yourselves exclusively, the one to the other, for as long as you both shall live. Fire Lord said as he looks at all of them. With Sasuke. I can believe I'm going to lose my body Sasuke as he was pinned down by a white snake that was entering his mouth. Ku finally I will have an Ichiha body with a Shuringen Orochimaru's head was in Sasuke's mouth and going further when suddenly Shadow grabs him and pulls him out. 
Sasuke didn't tell you to wait on me, Shikamaru said. Cough, cough you were taking too long, Sasuke replied as he got up. Ku 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 seems like I have two traitors, Kabuto now Orochimaru shouted as Kabuto jumps down only speared by a giant arrow. Now it's your turn Shikamaru said as a scythe cuts the escaping Orochimaru in half. That was close Sasuke said. It wouldn't have been close if you had waited on me Shikamaru replied. I know and I'm sorry it won't happen again, Sasuke said as he exited the room now what? We are going to build our team Shikamaru replied, starting with Sujetsu. Sasuke followed Shikamaru to a room where there was a giant tube full of water, and a boy was in one of them. Is it him? Sasuke asked as they walked up to the tube. Yes that's him Shikamaru replied as he pulled out his sword and destroyed the tube freeing the boy. I'm free Sujetsu shouted as he got up Shikamaru sama, why did you do that Orochimaru will kill you if he found out. Don't worry Sujetsu, Orochimaru is dead Shikamaru replied. Finally, what took you so long? Sujetsu shouted. I was waiting for my friend Shikamaru to reply as he pointed to Sasuke. He doesn't seem like much Sujetsu said when suddenly he heard chirping birds behind him. Watch what you say about an Ichiha you will die, Sasuke said from behind Sujetsu who almost shit himself. Sasuke don't kill him, Shikamaru said. Sorry about that Sasuke-sama Sujetsu replied shitty very fast, if it was for Shikamaru-sama I would have died. Next time think before you speak Sasuke replied as he walks away. Let's get out of here Sujetsu Shikamaru said. Where are we going? Sujetsu asked. We are going to get you a sword, then we are going to free the rest of our teammate, Shikamaru replied as they follow behind Sasuke. I heard rumors about you being strong from way back. Your team is the one that defeated Mamachi's abuser senpai right? Sujetsu asked Sasuke who looked at him not saying a word, not feeling like he needed to. With Naruto. Do you, Uzumaki Naruto take Uzumaki Kashina, Kurumu, Ichiha Makoto, Naruyoshino, Hayuga Hatomi, Terumi Mei, Senjutsunade, Nahara Rin, Shizun, and Tsunami, to be your lawfully wedded wives, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health. With respect for her integrity and faith in your union, do you promise to unfailingly seek out the best you can in her, loving her every day, in every way, until the end of your forever? If so, please answer. I do. The Fire Lord asked. I do Naruto replied. Do you, Uzumaki Kashina, Kurumu, Ichiha Makoto, Naruyoshino, Hayuga Hatomi, Terumi Mei, Senju Tsunade, Nahara Rin, Shizun, and Tsunami, take Uzumaki Naruto to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health. With respect for his integrity and faith in your union, do you promise to unfailingly seek out the best you can in him, loving him every day, in every way, until the end of your forever? If so, please answer. I do. The Fire Lord asked as Hana, Anika, Rina, Yugao, Hinata, Kurunai and Hana came up with the rings. The wedding ring is the outward sign of an inward and spiritual grace, signifying to all the union of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. It was Saint Augustine who said, The nature of God is like a circle whose center is everywhere, and circumference is nowhere. May the rings that you hold symbolize the nature of God in your lives, and as often as either of you see them, may you be reminded of this moment and the endless love you have promised. Fire Lord said as Naruto took the rings from each of the women. Uzumaki Naruto as you present Uzumaki Kashina, Kurumu, Ichiha Mikoto, Naruyoshino, Hayuga Hatomi, Terumi Mei, Senju Tsunade, Nahara Rin, Shizun, and Tsunami with their wedding ring, and pledge your love and your life to them, will you please repeat after me? Uzumaki Kashina, Kurumu, Ichiha Mikoto, Naruyoshino, Hayuga Hatomi, Terumi Mei, Senju Tsunade, Nahara Rin, Shizun, and Tsunami. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. With all that I am, and all that I have, I promise to love and honor you always. With this ring, I wed. Naruto said as he gives the women their rings. Kashina, Kurumu, Mikoto, Yoshino, Hitomi, Mei, Tsunade, Rin, Shizun, and Tsunami as you present Uzumaki Naruto with his wedding ring, and pledge your love and your life to him, will you please repeat after me, Fire Lord said. Naruto I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. With all that I am, and all that I have, I promise to love and honor you always. With this ring, I do wed Da Kashina, Kurumu, Mikoto, Yoshino, Hitomi, Mei, Tsunade, Rin, Shizun, and Tsunami replied. Naruto, Kashina, Kurumu, Mikoto, Yoshino, Hitomi, Mei, Tsunade, Rin, Shizun, and Tsunami as much as you have consented to be joined together in the holy state of matrimony, and having pledged and sealed your vows by the giving and receiving of rings, in the presence of both God, and this is with great pleasure, that I now pronounce you husband and wives. What God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. Congratulations. You may kiss the bride getting a few glances from the other brides, and quickly said I mean you may kiss the brides. Fire Lord said as Naruto chuckled a little, and kissed all of his wives, it is with great joy and honor that I now present to you Mr. and Mrs. Kashina, Kurumu, Mikoto, Yoshino, Hitomi, Mei, Tsunade, Rin, Shizun, Tsunami and Naruto Uzumaki, as everybody cheered. Let's go my lovely wives Naruto said as a portal appeared, and Naruto and his wives entered it to enjoy his honeymoon. Later. 
Chikmer Sasuke and Sujutsu were currently standing in front of a bridge. Looking up, Sasuke read. The Great Naruto Bridge, huh? I can believe they named the bridge after that team Shikamaru shouted. Easy Shikamaru, we will kill him soon, Sasuke replied. Naruto, who is the supernova Sujutsu said when suddenly a shadow wrapped around Sujutsu's neck and started choking him. Don't ever say that name around me Shikamaru said with a little growl. Hi Shikamaru Sama Sujutsu replied as Shikamaru let him go cough, cough. They eventually came to the end of a field. Is this where they buried him? Shikamaru asked. Yes I saw them bury him over there Sasuke replied as he pointed to a spot where a sword was sticking out. I finally got one of them, Sujutsu said as he took the sword out and almost fell over heavy, so this is Kurigakur's demons abuses beheading sword. Can you even use the sword? Sasuke asked. Of course I can, Sujutsu replied as the hand that held the sword suddenly became muscular, and he took some practice swings. Let's go, we don't have time to waste, Shikamaru said as Sujutsu strapped the sword on his back, but unclicked the hilt and placed it in his belt. Well then, let's go to the closer one, Sasuke. With Naruto three days later. Note the self use shadow clones to have sex with wives, instead of doing it all by yourself, Naruto said as they exit the portal with the support of his wives. Naruto Khan now that I am your wife there is something I have to show you Mikoto said. Me too Tsunade, and Hitomi said. Ha, huh, what is that? Naruto asked. You will find out soon, just bring me to the Ichiha compound, Mikoto replied as Naruto create a portal and they enter. Ichiha compound. Naruto and his wives arrived at the compound to see Anika sweep up the yard. Naruto Kan you are back Anika shouted as he hugs and kisses him. Mikoto shouted as Anika let go of Naruto as he followed Mikoto to a trapdoor. Mom, where are we? Anika asked. We are in the Ichiha temple, Mikoto replied as they continued to walk until they saw some tablets. This just like the Hayuga Senju temple Hitomi and Tsunade said. So why are we here? Naruto asked. On these tablet hold the greatest history in the shinobi world, Mikoto replied which shock everybody I discover it when I secret followed by husband one day. But how can you read it in a different language? Anika asked as she tried to read it. Activate your M Shuringen Mikoto replied and Anika did. Princess Kagayal Tsutsuk was the first human to use chakra and was the mother of Hagromo Tsutsuki, known better as the sage of the six paths. Anika said would shock everybody. Yes take that women are the first Shinwa Kashina and Mei shouted. What else does it say? Tsunade asked. That's all I can translate, what about you mom? Anika replied. That's all I can read too, that's why I brought Naruto here. Maybe he could read it, Mikoto said as everybody looked at Naruto. I will try Zenpangin Naruto replied as he looks at the tablets. Long ago before the founding of the hidden villages, during an era of endless wars between men, Kagaya decided that it was necessary for someone to attain godlike powers, in order to stop the conflicts. For this reason, she consumed the forbidden fruit from the Shinju, gaining the ability to manipulate powerful chakra, and allowing her to single-handedly put an end to all the wars that plagued the lands. When Kagaya gave birth to her son Hagoromo, he inherited the same type of chakra, and was able to manipulate the chakra. However the Shinju's desire to reclaim his stolen power, caused the tree to assume a monstrous form of what was christened the Ten Tails. The furious Ten Tails rampaged throughout the lands until Kagaya's son defeated and sealed the beast within himself, making him the first Inchkriki. Her son would later teach humanity the concepts of chakra, becoming revered as the sage of the six paths. While they all sat then they turned to Kurumu. Did you know about this? Kashina asked. No I did not because I not the first nine tail, I'm the second one, and Kurama only told me about how the sage split up the tenth tail, and created the tail beast Kurumu replied. Southern hideout. Was the sound of someone being thrown to the floor. In a corridor underground stood a red-headed woman who was looking down at a man. I can't have you doing whatever you want because Rachimaru is dead. With that she turned around but stopped in her tracks before looking up. This chakra it can't be. Shikamaru Sasuke and Sujutsu were walking across an ocean before Sujutsu turned to Shikamaru and asked. Can I ask a question? What? Shikamaru asked. Why are you following teammates? We have a goal and there is a better chance to achieve that goal as a small team. Shikamaru replied. But why me? From the time I got close to Rachimaru I thought of this possibility and chose a powerful shinobi. Shikamaru replied. Heh, but I think there's no reason to choose Karen, she unlike me is Rachimaru's subordinate. She's messed around with my body before and I can't stand her attitude. True, there's a lot of other strong shinobi that would be easier to handle, but she had a special power that no one else has. Shikamaru replied. Well I have to admit that's true. What power is that? Sasuke asked. She a powerful sensor and her blood can heal Shikamaru replied. Later Shikamaru Sasuke and Sujutsu made it into the hideout where they walked past cells where people were practically dying from starvation or the like. That's Nara Shikamaru and Ichiha Sasuke, the one that Arachimaru always wanted. What they doing here? Wait, if they are here without Arachimaru then that rumor could be true. Th that's it. A prisoner said they defeated Arachimaru so they came to free us. 
Stupid there's no way that is true, and besides Sirachimaru can't be defeated. Another prisoner said. The trio carried along until they met a woman with red hair and glasses, wearing very small shorts and a jacket that showed more skin than anything. So it really is you guys. Chikamaru if you're here by yourself then the rumor must be true. Karen said that she saw Sasuke, you must be Ichiha Sasuke as a blush appeared on her face. Hey. It's cold. I'm here too. Sujetsu said, but Karen ignored him. So what are you doing here, Shikamaru? Karen asked. Apparently, Shikamaru-sama wants to talk to you. Instead of standing around talking, can you show us to a room? It's been a while since I've walked so I'm beat. Sujetsu replied. Karen looked at him with a frown. Ha. Huh. Don't be like that Karen-chan. Shikamaru said and a blush comes to her face. Your charm would work on me again, Karen replied as Shikamaru got closer to her and whispered something in her ears, which made blood shoot out of her nose, then she fainted. What did you say to her? Sasuke asked. You don't want to know, just know that she is very kinky Shikamaru replied. With Naruto. Wow, the Senju temple is a lot bigger than what Ichiha Mikoto said as they entered the place. So where is the tablet? Kashina asked. It's right here Tsunade replied as she walked up to a statue of her grandfather holding a sake cup and poured some sake in it, then the statue raised, and the tablet appeared. So you got any idea of what's on it? Yoshino asked. Not a clue nobody could read it Tsunade replied. Didn't your grandfather tell you what was on it? Rin asked. Nope he couldn't read it either Tsunade replied. It's blank Makoto replied as she activates her M Sharingan. Let me try Zenpangan Naruto said. What does it say? Shizun asked. It's part of a page out of the diary of Kagaya Naruto replied. The goddess of Shinobi Mei said. What does it say? Tsunami asked. Your diary. This is my final entrance because I'm going to die before I could tell my son that the god tree will be coming back to take what is his, our chakra. I have been thinking of a way to defeat him once and for all, but I'm not sure if it will work. The goddess tree is part of my creation that will finally destroy the god tree, but I have to make the ultimate sacrifice in order for the tree to grow. Why did you stop? Mei asked. Because that where it stops Naruto replied. Damn it, we were so close Tsunade shouted. With Sasuke and Shikamaru. They were sitting in a room on a couch. Arachimaru is dead. What about all the people who were detained? Sasuke looked over at Sujetsu. Sujetsu goes and releases everyone. Karen looked shocked. What? Sujetsu just grinned. Ha is still talking like you're the boss as Sasuke glares at him. You want to say that again Sasuke replied as he activated his Sharingan. Uh, sorry I'll do it right away he said getting up, however Karen wouldn't have it. Don't you dare do it. Sasuke looked to Karen and spoke. Now there will be no need for a guard. What are you going to do? Karen looked as Sujetsu opened the door and yelled. No way. Besides I have no obligation to go with you. Dot oh well, looks like I have to ask Ino. Shikamaru replied with a smirk on his face. With Sujetsu. I see. Prisoner 1 said. So they defeated Arachimaru. A prisoner 2 asked. Yeah, that's right. Sujetsu replied. So what's going to happen to us? Prisoner 3 asked. You're free of course. He said simply. Oh really? Prisoner 1 asked. Yep just like me. He grinned. I'll open the lock now, however there's one thing I want to ask you guys. What? Please tell us what it is. The ones who defeated Arachimaru and freed us are Shikamaru Sama and Sasuke once you're outside spread that, that those two men will bring us peace and stability to this world has appeared Cuckoo. Shikamaru, Sasuke and Karen. Karen moved back to the door and locked it so that Sujetsu couldn't get back in and looked at Sasuke and Shikamaru with a lustful eye. I wonder which one I should choose, a girl just can't decide Karen I'll go. In a lust filled voice. Sasuke curled an eyebrow in response, a bit confused at how she's acting, but Shikamaru had a smile on his face. I knew you would come to my side Shikamaru replied as he got up and sits beside Karen and kisses her. Wow if I knew you would have done that I would have joined you a long time ago, Karen said with a blush on her face. As Sasuke gave him the what are you doing, you have Eno face, and Shikamaru replied with the we'll talk later look. What are you saying? You changed your mind quickly, Sasuke said with suspicion clearly in his voice. I was getting bored of being on guard duty. And how can I say no to two handsome young men she said leaning closer to Sasuke. She then heard the door rattling clearly Sujetsu trying to get in, looking back at Sasuke she moved closer causing him to put an arm up. You don't get too close. Completely ignoring him she spoke up. Hey why don't we make it just the three of us. We don't need Sujetsu, that thing she didn't get to finish as the door and walls were cut down in seconds. Sujetsu stood at the door leaning his right arm on his sword, while his left arm was at least three times as big. Come on Shikamaru some let's go, she said he won't. I persuaded her to join a Shikamaru. However Karen didn't accept it so easily. W who said I'll come, I'm just going the same way. She screeched while pointing a finger at Sujetsu. Oh? Well then isn't that convenient then well let's go part way together, then dot Sujetsu replied. Just part way. Karen shouted as she pushes up her glasses. Then next is Yugo right Sujetsu asked. 
What did you say Jugo? You're going to include that guy in the team? A frightened Karen asked. You're only partway with us so it doesn't concern you does it Sujutsu replied. And no. It doesn't concern me. So what? Are you picking a fight? Karen shouted. Northern hideout. In the dark cell there was a man with orange spiky hair in the corner of the room with a massive iron ball chained to him. Please don't kill me supernova, I didn't mean to attack you. I just want my right hand back. I'm going to kill you next time supernova. I want my hand back. Hayuga compound. Mom you finally came back, how was the honeymoon? Hannah asked. We'll talk later. Hitomi replied as she walked past her with everybody following her. Hey wait for me, Hannah shouted as she followed them as Hitomi removed a book and a secret passage opened up and they entered as Naruto and Hannah were about to enter. Niji would you like to join me for dinner Ten Ten asked. Sure why not, I love to see you parents again, Niji replied as they walked down the stairs. Hannah is Niji behaving himself? Naruto asked which made Niji flinch. I wouldn't know Naruto-kan because I tend to avoid him Hannah replied. Why are you avoiding him? Naruto asked. Because I might do something that I might regret later Hannah replied. Niji, are you behaving yourself? Naruto asked as he walked up towards him as Ten Ten pushed Niji behind her. Don't hurt him he not the same person he was two years ago Ten Ten said. That is up to you to decide. Naruto replied as Niji moved from behind Ten Ten. I have Naruto-sama, I have apologized to Hinata-sama, Hitomi-sama and even Hana-sama, and all of them have accepted my apology, expect Hana-sama Niji said. Because he does deserve it Hana shouted as she went through the secret entrance. I'm sorry Naruto-sama Niji said. But Hana to forgive you fist then I will forgive you, Naruto replied as he follows behind Hana. Hayuga Temple. Damn it Naruto, what took you so long? Tsunade shouted. Sorry about that so what on the tablet? Naruto asked. Both Anika and I can't read it Mikoto said. The only thing Hana and I can read is the top Hitomi said. TSB, that all we can see Hana said. Looks like it's my turn, Zenpangan Naruto said as he activates his eyes and scans the tablet. What's on the tablet Rudo Kan Shizun asked. It's a map too. Sasuke and company. We're walking again. I'm already beat Sujetsu said. Hey you're going to the northern hideout. If it's like that, we'll get killed the second we get there. Karen commented. I only know about it from the maps. Is it that bad Sujetsu asked. The north hideout isn't just a regular hideout. She paused and both males looked at her. That place is a human experiment lab, and the uncontrollable monsters that are born are kept locked up. A little while later they were further to where they needed to be however Sujetsu was still complaining. Hey, aren't you tired? Why don't we rest a little bit? He asked while drinking water. Later. In front of them was a horde of cursed seal victims in their second stage forms. All the guards are dead and a complete prison breakout. Karen said. Shit there's no way to tell which one is Yugo like Shikamaru-sama. Karen, is Yugo amongst these guys Shikamaru asked. Just shut wait a minute. She growled. She closed her eyes to look for the chakra source that was Yugo. Ha he's not in the group. So we can cut them down right? Sujetsu asked hopefully. Dot yes, there are mindless beasts right now. Sasuke replied as he pulled out his trench knives when. Shadow Spike Shikamaru said as his shadow impaled the monsters, killing all of them. Damage Shikamaru, couldn't you leave at least one of them for me Sasuke shouted. Sorry Sasuke, but you snooze you lose Shikamaru replied as Sasuke glared at him. Hokage's office. Naruto soon entered the office to see Tsunade, Jiraiya, Matoko, Kurunai, Kashina, Shizun, Sakura, Hana, Hinata, Rin, Rock Lee, Ten Ten, Yoshino, Anika, Ino, Chaoji, Yoshino, and Sai who Naruto remembers the guy he almost killed for spying on him. Now that we're all here, Naruto has some information to share. Tsunade said. What information could he have that my great spy network doesn't have? Asked Jiraiya. Just shut up and listen Jiraiya Tsunade shouted. Tsunade Sama called you all here because it kind of affects you all. Naruto said allowing everyone to understand. I have received information from my spy from the Sound Village. You have a spy in the Sound Village, why is this the first time I'm hearing about this? Jiraiya shouted. Because I answered to the Hokage not you Naruto replied. Why you? Is it about Sasuke Shikamaru? Ino and Sakura asked. Yes it is about them, they have killed Tsunade Sama old teammate Arachimaru at the mention of his name, some smiled on the rookie's face, but not on the mothers and the jonins, they knew something else was wrong, and it wasn't good news. Is it true? Asked Sakura, which almost sounded like a whisper as she looked at Jiraiya. I'm not sure because this is the first time I'm hearing about this, Jiraiya replied. I believe Naruto and when he said Arachimaru is dead then he is dead Tsunade replied. How do you know his spy is reliable? Jiraiya shouted. Because I have met his spy and that person is a high ranking member of the Sound Village Tsunade replied. Then I would like to meet that person Jiraiya said. No you can't Naruto replied. Why not Jiraiya asked. Because I don't trust you, Naruto replied as Jiraiya glared at him. Yes Shikakan and Sasuke Khan are coming back, Ino and Sakura shouted as they started to celebrate. Will you two stop that Makoto and Yoshino said. 
Why are boyfriends and your sons are coming back you should be joining us Ino replied. Naruto can't tell them the rest Makoto replied. Shikamaru and Sasuke are not coming back they are forming a team to go after Itachi, then they will come after me Naruto replied. Before anybody could speak, Sakura and Ino turned on Naruto. How can you say Shikamaru Sasuke won't come back, of course he will. He too should grow up my son only has revenge on his mind right now, so he won't come back until he is strong enough, Mikoto replied. That is the same with my son Yoshino said. What do you need from us Tsunade Sama? Chaoji asked. I am going to send some teams out after him. Kashino will be leading the first team that will consist of Anika, Hana, and Chaoji, the second team will be led by Naruto, which consists of Mikoto, Yoshino, and Shizune, the third team will be led by Rin, which consists of Sakura, Ino, and Sai, and the last team will be led by Kuranai, which consists of Hinata, Rock Lee, and Tenten Tsunade said. Okage-sama what is our mission? Ino asked. Oh I forgot some of you were at the earlier meeting, we are going to search for Itachi Tsunade replied. Hey, I wasn't. I want you all at the front gate in two hours, so prepare for your mission, you're all dismissed, except you Naruto. Tsunade replied as everybody left you to Jiraiya. But, but Jiraiya said as Tsunade glared at him as he left. So what do you want to talk about? Naruto asked. I want you to make me scream louder than usual, Tsunade replied as she tackled Naruto to the ground. Outside. I will find out what you are hiding, Naruto Jiraiya said as he was on the wall outside Tsunade had finally reached the window listen no jutsuthin he looked through the window when he saw something that shook his very core, he saw Naruto plowing the hell out of Tsunade who scream out in joy. Oh god Naruto harder Tsunade screams out. She chose another man over me again, Jiraiya said in a sad voice as he vanished in a puff of smoke. Two hours later. Naruto and Tsunade were putting on their clothes. Naruto Khan do you think you can kill your new sons? Tsunade asked. The nose Naruto replied. With Naruto new sons. The keys. I found them. She chirped happily as she held up a couple dozen keys attached to a ring. They soon came upon a crossroads of different routes, and Sujetsu turned to Karen. Karen, can you tell us which way? She looked at him in annoyance before saying. TCH since when did you become leader? Just tell us which way. He growled out. She points down the left way. That way. Following her command Sujetsu, Sasuke and Shikamaru walked down when suddenly Karen grabbed Shikamaru and Sasuke, and pulled them to the other. Karen, what are you doing Shikamaru asked. It's this way. She said simply. Karen Chan, why did you do that to him Shikamaru asked. Karen snorted and walked on. He's annoying, I don't like him, let's go. She said, pulling away Shikamaru as Sasuke looked on. Ino is going to kill him, Sasuke said as he followed them not really caring about Sujetsu. With Sujetsu. Sujetsu carried on down the corridor completely oblivious to what was going on. The cursed eel changes the body into something monstrous Shikamaru sama. You also become like that when you use it Sujetswist, only to receive no reply looking slightly behind him he said. Are you even listening to me only to realize he had been tricked? That bitch I'm going to cut her legs off. He growled out walking back the way he came. The trio. Shikamaru and Karen now stood outside a heavily bolted up door which seemed to be impenetrable. Is this the cell? Asked Sasuke as he pushes them out of the way. Yeah, Jugo's inside here. Karen replied as she glared at Sasuke. Karen set to unlocking the door with the multiple keys she had, as she went to grab the handle Shikamaru stopped her by putting his arm in front of her. I'll go first out Karen takes a step back. No I will, I have a feeling that there is going to be a fight Sasuke said. Meanwhile Jugo was still rambling inside. No if it's Supernova, I'll kill him yeah as Supernova comes and I'll him. Looking over at the door he saw it open slightly and a foot at the opening. It was then he saw half of Sasuke's face before he shot up with the curse mark taking over. Bingo. I'll kill. He screamed hysterically like a crazed person, he then rushed Sasuke full speed still grinning like a madman. Sasuke pulled his trench knives as Karen shouted. He's coming. Well Sasuke kept a stoic face while bending slightly to face Yugo. Sujetsu. Sujetsu had finally found himself back in the room of now dead people littered around. Oh. Looks like I've come back then it must be on the right then. As he went to continue a voice broke him out of his thoughts. Why did you all come here? Looking back he saw a barely alive man looking up at him. We came to get Yugo from this place, we want to make him part of our team. The man seemed to find it amusing as he chuckled. You guys do you know what you're trying to do Gus Sujetsu looked at him questionably wondering where he was going with it. If you let that guy out in the world. Sujetsu cut him off there. I agree but I'll make him listen by force if necessary. The man thought that was even more amusing. Kukuku though you're strong with your powers. Sujetsu gets pissed off and stamped on the man's stomach. Gua. The man gargled out. Kuku you should all get killed by Jugo. Sujetsu reached up for his sword. Just one person wouldn't matter as he was going to kill the man there was an explosion close by. With Sasuke. Yugo now had his transformed fist buried in the dust, Karen and Shikamaru arms coughing from the dust and rocks that came out of the wall, and Sasuke was nowhere to be seen. Sasuke. 
screamed Karen while Jugo was laughing like a madman. Yugo's left arm that was buried in the wall, now had spikes going along it much like a Kagaya's bloodline. There's more. As he said that a slit appeared in his elbow where a tube like shape came out, pushing chakra into it there was another massive explosion. Sasuke's chakra is almost like Shikamaru Karen worriedly. It was then wind like appendages came out of the rubble and gripped Yugo's now monstrous arms. Jugo jumped back with his ever-growing arm, and looked in the hole to see Sasuke's right side transformed with a massive wind coming out of his back. I have to admit you're something to be able to achieve a partial change. You're good at controlling the curse seal. Sasuke looked up and could see the right side of his face being covered by the seal, and his eye now black with a yellow pupil. Bring it on crazy guy Sasuke replied as Yugo attacked as Sasuke simply sidestepped him, and delivered a punch to his stomach that sent him crashing into the wall. Karen what happened to his right hand? Shikamaru asked. Though I forgot, it was cut off by the supernova two years ago Karen as Shikamaru growl. Then why did Orochimaru replace his arm? Shikamaru asked as Sasuke continued to beat the crap out of Jugo. Orochimaru doesn't care, and Jugo won't let anybody near and shout that he wants his hand back Karen replied. I see. You bitch I'm going to kill you Sujitsu shouted. TCH, Karen replied. You Sujitsu. I remember now. Jugo screamed as he ran past Sasuke and swung his fist at Sujitsu, who reciprocated with his weapon rebounding off one another again. Sujetsu came back around with a mighty swing only for Jugo to duck out of the way. Both of you stop. Shikamaru ordered. Meanwhile Karen had her own thoughts. Could both of them can die. Both fighters suddenly charged shadow personas both fighters were trapped in a dark box, then he let them go. So Dark Sujitsu replied. Next time you guys disobey a direct order, I will kill both of you, Shikamaru said, which made all of you flinch except Sasuke. Yugo's curse mark receded back making him look human again before he started looking around frantically, trying to see where he was, and seeing his room he ran straight for his pulling the ball on chain with him screaming all the way. I want my hand back supernova. Yugo got in his room, slammed the door and crouched while holding his head. Who hurry up and lock the door or the supernova will come for my other arm. He yelled through the door. I just came to take you off here. Come with me. Shikamaru said. Sujetsu looked at the door curiously. He's too scared. And with good reason, when we found him after the supernova attack he was crying like a baby Karen replied. I don't believe the Jugo we are talking about Sujitsu replied. I believe because Naruto is a master Jinjutsu Sasuke replied as Shikamaru nodded his head. Yugo we will protect you from him and help get your revenge Sasuke replied. Sasuke is right all you have to do is come with us, Shikamaru said as Yugo looks at them. Dot I can't I promised Kamimuro that I would wait on him Jugo replied. Kamimuro is dead, the supernova killed him, Sasuke replied as Yugo growl as he transformed again when suddenly a shadow wrapped around and forced him to look into a Shiringanai, as Yugo's seal vanished. They're able to suppress my transformation only Kamimuro could do to Jugo right I'll come with you. Outside. Now they all stood outside the base on the barren field, Sujetsu, Karen and Jugo stood in a line, while Shikamaru and Sasuke stood in front of them. Here is where my team will become complete. Now, I'll tell you my motive. All three stood at attention at that. Our motive is to kill Ichiha Itachi of the Akatsuki and the Supernova Uzumaki. We want your power. I figured as much mumbled Sujetsu. However Karen Shikamaru said, getting her attention. You already said that you had other plans so what are you going to do? Karen looked away slightly and said. Why yes I was thinking about it, and I'm not really in a rush. Karen, to be honest Sujetsu spoke up. Don't you just want to be a Shikamaru-sama and Sasuke's side? Karen spluttered for a second before yelling. TT that's my reason. Who would dare say such a thing? Huh? Sujetsu just grinned toothily, pleased with her reaction. See? Bullseye. Your voice is cracking. Well, well I really do know in the past with Shikamaru, Karen screeched as she punched him only for his face to turn to water and reform. TSS. Karen hissed, gritting her teeth together. Sujetsu, stop agitating her. I do believe I said you'll have to start working together didn't I? Shikamaru said dot. I'm sorry Karen Sujetsu replied, but Karen ignored him, Shikamaru sama, Sasuke. I want to be the one who fights Hashigaki Kisum who is partnered with Itachi. It's my goal to take his sword, Samahata, for myself. Karen snorted and muttered. Someone's compensation by collecting swords. Sujetsu warned Sasuke. Yeah yeah I know. Jugo now that you're out what are you going to do Sujetsu asked. To help Shikamaru and Sasuke kill the person that took my hand and kill Kamimuro. Jugo. Then it's decided from now on our name is Team Shadow God. Itachi and Masked Man. Itachi and his masked partner were currently standing on a cliffside looking up as the sky darkened. Hmm, looks like it's about to rain Masked Man said. Itachi felt rain hit him before he spoke. It looks more like a storm. Let's hide ourselves from the rain somewhere. It's getting cold. Masked Man suggested. Yeah mumbled Itachi. The masked man walked over to a body and lifted it up. We'll probably get in touch with the leader soon, he said, lifting the body of an old man up on it, or more specifically Rumshai the Jinchkriki of the four-tailed monkey. 
Itachi looked at him passively. It looks like he is dying. I thought you of all people would know how to take care of your elders, K. You don't know anything about my sensei. He isn't a common Jinchkriki you know, the Yanbia Sizuden. You didn't fight him directly, and he was very tough to beat. K said. Itachi shut his eyes and snorted. Well I was the one who wanted to go alone. Should I have killed your target too? K said. Don't say such things K, Naruto Khan is a lot stronger than the last time he kicked your ass. We may not be able to defeat him together, Itachi replied. I'm a bit tired, the faster we catch it, the faster I can have my rest. K said ignoring Itachi as they walked through the forest. Itachi looked over at him. No need to rush, let's take a break for now. It will take some time anyways. I'm wondering about Turl K. There are only a few left, right? The Kyubi has been decided to be sealed last. Remember what our leader said, that because the ceiling is so fragile it would break its balance. And since we have to bring the Jinchkriki back alive, don't you think that finding them as quickly as possible is the best solution? He asked Itachi who sat down against the tree trunk. Itachi leaned back and shut his eyes. HMPF, I'm not worried. Tadara failing to be the last to be sealed is the same as being the last one caught, and Akatsuki has been too active lately. He paused as Kei chucked him shy on the floor. If we catch the Kyubi Jinchkriki too fast, Kanoha will have a stronger response than last time. Ha, you're right. They have so many contacts with other countries that their cooperation could slow us down. The best we can do is catch them up to the Hachibi, but that could lead to trouble. I see your point makes sense. But timing. Said Itachi smiling slightly with the Shuringen active, both of them then appeared in an area standing around a lantern with the other members. Thanks for watching my video, and make sure to check out the author of this fanfic, link is in the description, see you next time, till then sayonara.